I've got something really special for you guys today. It's not often that you get to walk through 4,000 cars hidden in the woods, but that's what we're going to do today. A buddy of mine, Scott, came to me at work and said, Hey, I know where there's 4,000 cars hidden in the woods, and if you want some, you better come get them because there's been a death in the family. They're starting to scrap them. They're starting to sell them off. He told me there were station wagons there, so that's all I really needed to hear. I headed right over there straight after work in my uniform and uh, started walking through this. So I'm going to show you guys a video of us walking through all every single one of these cars. It's really incredible what's here. Whether you like Japanese cars, if you like, you know, Chevy, Dodge, Ford, there's just a little bit of everything in this collection. It didn't seem to matter what brand it was. Now this is one time I was glad I wasn't wearing my flip flops because they say they've seen a few snakes over there. Now I made two trips over this place, so on the first trip, you're going to see me and Scott walking around, looking through a lot of the cars and picking out ones I wanted to buy. And the second trip, I go back with my wife, we load up the ones that I picked out, and we actually see several more cars that I didn't see in the first trip. So if you want to see all of them, you need to kind of stay to the end because I didn't see everything on my first trip there. And I'm not perfect at identifying these cars. I had Hot Rod Hoarders help a little bit with this to help identify them because he's better than me. But if we misnamed one of these cars, let me know in the comments. And if there's one in here that we should have saved that we didn't yet, let me know. If it's special to you, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Here we go, let's check these cars out together. All right, we're on our way now. I'm really hoping that this uh, turns out to be really awesome like it sounds just like it's gonna be. Let's get over there and see what's there. Some station wagons, maybe some Fairmonts, maybe a Nova, Falcon, maybe some more Thunderbird, Lincoln Mark 7, I mean a Granada, a Zephyr, LTD, with or without the dipstick. A boy can dream, can he? Just as long as there's not a lot of trucks. As you know, if there's a truck or tractor down here, Ralphie and the wife are going to be wanting to buy it. Yeah, that hole. We had to move cool a couple. Vega. Yeah. He's not going to sell that. That's a keeper. A little bit of everything. I brought the spray paint out. I didn't even find the Suburban the last two times I was in here. C10. Man, hey, look at that. That tree's grown all the way into it. Oh, man, let's wrap that here. That one's rough. Oh. Another C10, another C10. There's an MG. Yeah, that's the one. One of the ones I'm talking about. MGB, I guess it is. MGB GT. Look. Oh, wow. That's something you don't see. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow, it's probably in good shape when they left it here. Oh, yeah, that's what the cool on. yeah, I think I so. Town wow, look at that old bus. That's a. Oh, I guess it's not a four wheel drive, is it? It looks like a four wheel drive. It's just all in the woods, isn't it? Oh, Falcon? Falcon. He's already sold that one. See the mark on it? Oh, okay. Yeah, two door Falcon. That's, was that a 66 or 7 Galaxy wagon? Man. Not not what I would have done with it. But. Uh, that thing used to run around town. I remember she called it. You know, there's that one piece of trim. Yeah, that one piece of trim you need that you can't get. Wherever the Fox bodies are, that's where I want to be. Opal. Oh, wow. I love the bias. That looks like a brick. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's another Falcon, a 64.5 four-door. Oh, I hate seeing them stacked. I know. Torino station wagon on the top. There's your Valeri wagon. Oh, yeah, Valeri. Missing front end. I didn't see the uh, LTD the Malibu wagon that they drug out of the way that I was still 
They just had to cut a road in here too. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude eighty eight. Well, another wagon. I can't. What is that wagon? Wow. Yeah, I have poison ivy for sure. Yeah. Wow, there's a isn't that a pinto or bobcat rally? Yeah. Says. Toyota wagon? A bunch of Vegas. For sure. Yeah. I think that green one right there is probably the best one I've seen on it. It's pretty bad. And how would you ever get them out? <laughs> well, they'll eventually drag them out with the babies. Yeah. That's a cutlass, isn't it? No engine. Another Corvair. Whole pickup. Six million gas tanks. Buick. Oh, I love those. There's another Falcon. He must like Falcons. Man, international travel hall. You don't see them much anymore. There's a pretty good one way up on the end up there. Somebody's been claimed it. What is that? Is it AMC or something? I'm not sure. That thing's really neat. Yeah. Really rusty though. Yeah. Oh, I love like it has like a triple seat in the front instead of a bench. Galaxy 500, 66 or 7, I think. There's the International Scout. Huh? Uh -huh. Aftermarket parts for one of those. Wow. It's already claimed too, huh? Bobo. Yeah, Cougar. Ford Dodge Motorhome. I love it. I love the bubble on the top. Yeah. Got a heart shaped glass. Man, that paint yeah. job. Another Corvair. Yeah. Wait. Uh, Ford Ranch Wagon. No. Trans Am or something, Camaro. <laughs> Valiant. Yeah. That's like a duster or something, isn't it? Old. Wow. There's a, a little back wagon, a little two-door wagon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come down the side. I really like this. I got to look at it. It is rusty. It's very rusty. Like that one. That works. And that's a cool front bumper on this. You're natural. There's a, that's a Savoy or a Fury. No, it's a Belvedere. Okay. I've got one of them. I've got a six. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a Fairmont there. Yeah. Well, that's blue car I'm talking about. There's another two door Falcon. Yeah. Wow. And it's a two line that's in here. That car, there's Rick. I mean, a lot of them, I don't know why. No, it's in the. Inline six air conditioned car. Yeah, that's a Opal. Was an Opal Cadet, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's LS nineteen hundred. So that's the biggest. Wow, Pinto. Now they're Velar or Aspen. One direction we went, the trailer's back up that way. You know, this car is all along the way. Cutlass F100. There's a parkwood. A oh, parkwood? Yeah, he's already playing it. I can't see him. 
Those are, those are that one. Yeah, they do. Parkwood, that emblem is cool. Skylark. Cool old road runner there. There's LTD, or four door. Oh, and the sunroof's busted out of it. Yeah. Man, there's a bunch of cougars and thunderbirds right here. Cougar, I always want such a funny looking quarter glass. Big Cadillac. Man, another van with a mural on the side. Yeah. <laughs> no. I like the old suburban four drives. Yeah, they're really rare. I think something I'm bringing to you. And tree fell on that fabric. Yeah, I don't either. I haven't seen any Fairmont wagons yet. Uh -uh. This is this is about to make a salt thing car, but yeah. That's an old car hauler in here. Yeah. Wow. We walk, I think. This is cool. That thing's cool. I love the extended cab when somebody's yeah, already bought it. Right Whoever K is has spent some money. Has it got a mark on it? Yeah, it says K on the back glass. Wow. Every time I've been down here, I've not been able to just walk straight from home. So they ain't gonna lock us up in here, are they at four? They got a gate down there. I got to fiddle around down there and hang out a few minutes once I get ready to go. Another international. That's a conquest for Stereon. There's a little uh, look to Yeah. Four doors. I mean, four wheel drive. Really? Another, that's an Aspen. Uh -uh. That's a weird looking tool. This one must not be for sale, huh? Magnum. Yeah. Man, it's sad they all sat here this long. Well, Volvo wagon. Uh -huh. That's something you don't see every day. Wow. I don't know how bad it is. I thought it was. I don't know. I'm not good at Volvos for sure. I don't know my Volvos either. I just thought it was a paper. Yeah.
Yeah. I don't think I've seen one that body style. That was like the first year, I think. And Fairmont wagon. My dream car, huh? Wonder about it. Looks like we're gonna buy this one. No engine or transmission, but I mean, it's a real base model. One mirror, whiskey dent here. But, uh, bought in Cleveland, Molnax, Ford. Look at that, only got one mirror and no roof rack. Perfect. Oh, a two door box top, Fairmont. Uh, doors rough, windows down. Uh, looks like another international. Let's see. No engine again. A little rusty here. Okay. Maybe we can get this one too. It looks like we're getting at least two. LTD. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's already claimed. Man. Yeah. I love those. I'd be interested in that if it wasn't already claimed. Old wrecker. How cool is that? Look at the, the riding on that. Oh, wow. The the cab is on that old one. Wow. It's a 60 or 61 Impala or. Nice yeah, he seems to be. There's a Malibu two door. Yeah, I think that's a maybe the Pontiac. Is that Malibu? Yeah, I guess it is. What was it Ventura or something? Yeah, no engine. I will show you that It's got a J on it. I guess somebody did buy it. Or is that body style here? Yeah. Somebody's claimed it too. So what did you think you saw up here? We were talking about. Oh, look at that wagon. <laughs> it's a Camaro, isn't it? Or no, it's smaller than a Camaro. Wow, look at that. Oh yeah, a cadet wagon. Hey, look at that wagon. Whatever. There's another Savoy or. Fury, that's a Fury, I think. Those are cool. Gremlin, Pace, or something, yeah. Yeah, they probably. That van is so cool. We don't have a lot of time. He's got to leave. Chevette. There's a building. Wow. Oh, I love the old camper top. Might dodge. Oh yeah. 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 Another old Dodge back there. Yeah. 
Bronco's cool. Yeah. It's Inwood. Uh. A lot of people don't know they have it. It's too late. That's a cool old truck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you could get in here right now. Yeah, I got these new casings. Yeah. Huh. Got the making. Man, I am beat. We walked around there for like, I don't know, probably an hour is all the time we had because the guy's got to leave, but we found those two Fairmonts, so we're gonna have to come back and get them at a different time. And hopefully we can get back there too. Man, it is like a logging trail to them. But uh, when we come back, I'm gonna look some more, hopefully with the family, and uh, see what else we can find in there. Cause I bet there's another one or two that I'd really like to have. There's so many though. It's like, I know you guys are probably screaming like, why didn't you get this one, that one? Man, there's so many in there that I would love to have, but like, you know, I love my Fairmonts. I really can't believe though that we found a Fairmont wagon in there. I mean. Uh, I know it might seem crazy to a lot of you guys, but like a, a Fairmont wagon or a two-door box top Fairmont is like my favorite car in the world and uh, never owned either one of them. So now this deal works out. I own both of them. So how cool is that? Squeeze lemons. Squeeze lemons. Ooh, oh, squeeze it. Babies everywhere. So today's a little different. I took off work today and all the babies are going to skew and me and mom are going to go pick up these fairmonts and we're going to stop mom from buying any we're trucks see today what else is for sale yeah buy the ramp truck or something <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how this goes see if me and mom can get the fairmont uh both fairmonts loaded up today like i thought roller coasters were scary hey but sitting back here it's really scary i don't want to hear all about quick driving on this one yeah, all right i love you guys love maybe there'll be two more cars in the yard when you get home oh, free at last free at last <laughs> so i feel every day all right guys we're gonna head out look babies everywhere rocky's babies everywhere we're gonna head out and get these cars we'll be back all right vainia see you later all right we got our winch we got all our tie down stuff chainsaw and a few batteries and air tanks i think we're ready to go ready all right let's go on the road again what really? are you doing really tick tocking over there you need to mind your business you can't mind all we can't go in here you bought two so i can buy two no, no that's no. not all it's just you know two plus two listen if we bought two more then we have to cut them out of the woods and them home and you like okay. you like vehicles that are twice as heavy as I do. Uh, it'll, it can be good. So the guy at the gates tell me that he thinks they may have crushed the two-door Fairmont, which I'm, you may see a tear in my eye if they did. I really hope they are confused on that, but we'll see. sponsored by NordVPN. If you're like me and you don't like the big tech companies looking over your shoulder, getting your information and spreading it out and selling it to whoever they want to, if you use NordVPN, they'll encrypt all your information so that they can't even tell who you are or where you're from. Hey, you know, me and the family love watching our movies. So here's our Netflix account. I set our IP address as Italy. And it's showing everything in Italian. If we switch it over to a different country like Japan, it switches everything to Japanese and Japanese movies. So maybe a movie's not available in your country. You can access it just by changing your IP address. It's also easy to use. You can connect with one click or enable the auto connect feature where it's zero click protection. It has over 5,400 servers to choose from and it has the fastest speeds of any VPN out there. You can use it with up to six devices, whether it's Windows, Mac, iOS, Linux, even your Android TV will work with this. It even has an auto kill switch feature. If your VPN accidentally drops, then it blocks you from internet access to where they can't get anything from you. Their threat protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers, and it scans all your downloads and URLs to make sure there's no malware to protect you and your devices. You can access it from anywhere. If you're traveling abroad, 
You can stay at home virtually so you don't miss any of your content. All you have to do is one click on the location you want your IP address to be, and you're there. So if you want to step up your security on all your devices, go to nordvpn.com slash sleeperdude. There's a promo code and the URL in the description below. Let's get back to the video. This, this little road here, I didn't go down through there. Oh man, they moved that tree with that truck with a tree through it. Yeah, that two hour ferret was sitting right there. Shoot, it's gone now. Oh, that makes it sad. I put this thing in full drive. It's crazy how much it's changed just since I was here the other day. We're going to have to probably try to cut what little bit of stuff's out here and try to get that car right up to there. It'd be great if we get the doors open. those little trees cut down. I think we can fit through some of these other trees, hopefully. We'll going to see if any of these will air up for us and we can... They must have used to have hubcaps hub on it. Oh yeah, that's going to air up. Yeah, we might actually have four casings air up. up like Lazarus. Man, four for four. Can't beat that. It's so sad to see these cars getting crushed. Man, I wish I could save all of them. It's way more emotional for me than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's, it's terrible to see them. We'll have to look around and get this loaded up and maybe we can mark something else to come back and get today. So I brought a bunch of Ford keys with me because Fords are pretty universal sometimes on their keys. Unfortunately, nothing I have fits it. So, I guess we're going to have to drag it out of here without steering it. I'm going to hook the snag block to this and try to pull this car over. Should have brought some sort of lockout kit. But I thought we were going to load the red one up first. the dirt report. Looks like she's been here a while. It's probably floor pan, maybe muffler, something. <laughs>
She's a little rough, but I mean, it might still be worth buying. This is the farthest point from the road, so it would probably be a while before I could even get in here to it until they get some other cars out. But I wish the windows weren't. Look, somebody's busted the ignition out of it. The windows are knocked out. The back window's knocked out. But it does have a trailer hitch, so I pretty much have to buy anything with a trailer hitch. There's your little van that's wrecked, unfortunately. Man, look at that wagon. Wow, that thing is super cool. It's wrecked back here. It looks like it has that factory green tint on the glass. V8. Is that the poly engine, maybe? I don't even know where we're at. Honestly. It never stops. Why did they spray paint on the side of that Torino? Tim, Tim should have painted on the glass. Wow. <laughs> Jay and Tim both getting that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Buick. Yeah, it's got the toolbox, man. That's cool. Got, got a garden in the back. Man, that truck's cool. I would never move it, but it looks cool. They it probably have the key for it. Yeah. I had to wipe that off. Make sure there's a crew cab truck here. Sierra Grande. It's pretty rusty. Look at the rockers and beds. So. I mean, I love the old crew cab truck, so. No, it's solid. <laughs> it's solid. Look at that door. Look at the door behind you. <laughs> Man, it's too bad that the thing's rusted out. I like those trucks. It's one of the few trucks I like. Yeah, it will. Yeah. A little rusty on the bottom, isn't it? 
Uh, Bucket seats. She's back there exploring by herself oh, yeah. in the woods. Yeah, this Fairmont sedan's wrecked pretty good. Window out of it. Here's a Granada, and what in the world is this? Oh man, a big homemade body. What are you in love with now, Tosh? I'm really in overload. There's so that's what when I came here the other day, it was like I'd love to have like almost all of them. Yeah, Maverick. There's oh, a Comet. Okay, it's a Comet. Yeah, the Comet has the funny tail lights okay. compared to the Maverick. Kind of rough. Yeah. Wonder what engine this got it. Four cylinder, 2.3. Man, the door's rusty. Right there. Yeah, somebody's just rattle can this one. Busted the quarter glass out. Yeah, it's rough. Somebody would probably use it, but crush there. Another white one right there. There's another Malibu wagon in it. That other one up there was my cool car. I just don't need to get into a fabric that big. Yeah, here's a four door sedan. 2.3. Pretty rough. Man, windows down again. There's definitely some good parts car ones. V V6, yeah. I think from my El Camino was a V8. There's a bunch of two-door Mopars here that would probably be valuable. Here's a LTD sedan with front fender missing. Got some wreck damage here. A little rough. There's another Maverick over there. Look at this thing. It's like an international version of the Suburban. Oh, yeah. How cool is that, huh? Like, fell out. Yeah, fell out. Yeah. Ooh, Everything's rotted out on it. I think it's cool, though. Yeah, it is. Hey, look at that. Look at the big fins on the back of that. That's really neat. That's a car hauler, Tosh, for a semi truck. Man, just stack them in here. Man, they're just grabbing them and crushing them. What's wrong with it? It's on top of a pile. It'd be easy to slide right off. <laughs> Real easy. Man, it's sad to see the Valari wagon on the bottom of the pile. Another wagon up there. Another Valarier Aspen wagon, Malibu wagon. We need to go left, babe. What is this thing? It's a Jeep, isn't it? That's cool. Thing's cool body yeah, style. Is, no windshield. Man. I wasn't over here the other day. There's a two door whole Chevrolet. Wow, it's honestly this thing. Oh yeah, let's get that. <laughs> How would you move that? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wow. 
it's on a steep hill. Oh, it's, it's rotted out before, and they've looks like they pop rivet on aluminum on the side of it. A big block Ford in there. It's in such bad shape, but it's so cool looking, isn't it? It's awesome. Look, there's an old road back here. Look at this half of a station wagon. They've ripped the car in half at some point. Wow. Look at that. It's an old Mazda RX3 station wagon, or half of one. Man, the roof's crushed down, the back glass is busted out of it. It's kind of unbelievable, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Well, it's here. sad, it's exciting. Look at that van next to you with the old riding on it. It's a Conaline. Oh, I love the old riding on it. I love the old GMC. Yeah, I like this old truck. It's like so far gone. Yeah. This has got the big V6 in it that they've made. There's your Volkswagen. It looks kind of rough, honey. That's what we buy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. An old Honda CB 750, it looks like. Oh, yeah, Harleys. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. The shifter. Yeah. Cool. The day. yeah. Well, it has a record or an attachment on the back. That's really neat. Yeah, looks like it's a pretty nice little truck on it. Park. Another Granada. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Looks like a mobile home. Yeah. Don't be looking at that camper now. I'm looking at it. I haven't seen it. There's another El Camino. Custom 200. Man, it's a big camper on the back of it. <clears throat> slant six. Man, that's a lot. That's a lot for a slant six, isn't it? Where can sell it without the camper? Can you ask them if they'll sell it without the camper? I bet that bed is mint. The bed is probably mint if it got put on there early. It's but, three quarter ton. That's so cool. Slant. See, I didn't get down here the other day either. Wow, old Ford. Oh no. Made it a convertible, huh? There's a Dodge van like our motorhome. There's another international. That's a Adian. Similar to what you got. All those hubcaps just sitting on top of the bush hog. Man, there's a big wrecker. So many hubcaps in here. There's no telling what's in here. Steering, steering columns. Oh, the trees picked the El Camino up. Yeah, the trees lifting the car off the ground. And look, it's grown totally into the fender and the door gap. Wow. That Corvette's cool. Oh, this is a fire. I thought this was a steel body. It's a fiberglass one. Here's a big block Chevy. Those are big block Chevy heads. I need that in my life. That sign. That is really neat. Look, there's like a Malle ish cow. That's how you're going to go. We ain't made it all the way Yeah. Where'd it go? Love truck on the bottom there. Right? Crush Corvair. There's another Valari. There's a family truckster, honey. Oh man. There's a Fox Body Coupe car. There's a Fairmont Futura. Like my red one. Ain't got a nice name on it. Too bad on time. Yeah.
V8. Wow. With air. Yeah. Wow. I didn't see this. Guy. Honda, old Hondas. He's got a 754 three wheeler. Man, mm -hmm. look at all the windows it's got. Somebody's claimed it too. Decent looking Galaxy wagon. Yeah, that's cool. Another Maverick. Did I miss a Fairmont? Oh, it's LCD. Okay. Yeah, that's like my old LCD wagon. Man, it's bright yellow. What does it say? Electronic injection. It's probably a V6 car. Yeah, that's like my old LTD wagon. Not even locked up. I remember those seats. Yeah, V6 just like my old one. That's cool. Little Pinto wagon with a porthole window. Yeah, I haven't went down through that way yet. Wow, it's unbelievable how many cars are here. You can't even tell what some of them are that's so deep in there. Mustang 2s, Pintos. Yeah. I didn't see a whole bunch down in there. It looked like a bunch of little. Yeah, several triumphs. Lots of little Japanese cars in this section, looks like. Old Pontiac. Two door Pontiac. Another old Pontiac there. Looks like an old Volvo wagon back right there. Another Volvo. You kind of group them together. Another Maverick over here. Yeah, a little two door wagon. There's another Opal. Maverick again in the Caprice wagon, looks like. Camaro and a Volkswagen Beetle. They're just everywhere back here. Another old Ford wagon. Wow, there's a 66 or 7 Nova two door post. No engine. Man, you don't see these much. Uh, I guess we're at the end of the line here. Yeah, I like these old Japanese station wagons too. I don't know that we came back here the other day. There's a 65 or 6 uh, Caprice 327 car. I wrecked one of those. That's the first car I've wrecked. Yeah. There's that mobile wagon I was talking about. Somebody, oh, HW really wants it. Look at that car, man. Wow. I love the color, too. Man, it's part. Hitting the corner here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would love to have had that one. Oh, a Chevelle with a 400 small block in it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is 400. Perfect. Like, I would love to have that. I couldn't look any better. I love the color combination. <laughs> yeah. 
I guess we're gonna have to go under this Camaro. I guess they were taking the rear end out of this Camaro. Might be it. I guess. Yeah. 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 Pinto. Again. Yeah. It looks like it's possibly wrecked, but another Malibu wagon. Yeah, it's just a bare block in there. This is Comet Cyclone. Wow. Man, there's a LTD station wagon in this pile that got crushed, unfortunately. And there's a two-door Plymouth. Oh, the old Thunderbird. That's cool. <laughs> I don't remember that. Man, the door is really rusty. Um, the window's down. Right? Yeah, the window's out. Oh man, this window's been out of it. The uh, Eagle Station wagon. That thing's cool. Yeah, Belvedere with slant six, two door hard top. That is really cool. It's kind of wrecked down the side and that fender's gone. Floors are rusted out, but cool car. Ah, yeah. oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I bet that back window's worth a fortune. And yeah, a big station wagon. Old Volvo. What is that one? They just pull from the wrong end. That's what you need, a full drive Falcon. He must like it. Yeah, Rambler Ambassador. Is this the only Fairmont that's too far gone for me? That's the only Fairmont that's too far gone for me, yeah, right there. We're planning on getting this one. This is the, the Fairmont Futura 302 car. Uh, we're gonna put our, our name on both ends this time because uh, hopefully it won't get crushed like the red one did. Man, it's so covered in pine deer. I wonder what kind of shape it's in under there. We're gonna get this one too. The paint matches the car. This is just like our old one, but y'all look, it was definitely some sort of company car. It has stickers on the door. I like it has still has the hubcaps on. Well, I think we saw most everything here. It's it's kind of hard to see literally everything that's here, but we're definitely gonna have to come back and get those other Fairmont or the Fairmont and the LTD and maybe that black Fairmont station wagon if we can talk him out of selling that one to us too. But we will definitely be back to get some more vehicles from here. It's so cool. Did you bring the Vainas? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely need some vainas after this. <laughs> Golly, we're beat. We've been out here, was it? Four hours we've yeah, been here? A lot. Squeezy would have had none of this. She would have been done and wouldn't have found it. None of this. She would not have put up with this at all. I wish that hood would have latched, but the latch is all screwed up with it. At least we got that one out of there. I just hope we can save the other ones. As long as they don't crush them before we get them. Does this mean I got you out of there without buying a truck? Okay, good. They had, that was keeping too many. Yeah, they wanted to keep all the ones she was they interested in. Too. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a warped reality as well. <laughs> you know what time it is. Usually we do this at the end of a video. I'm, I'm famished. There's so many people right now that are like, all those cars and you bought a Fairmont wagon. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, quite a few ticks there. We're gonna I, have to. I think I just found one in my head. Yeah, I pulled at least four or five off. Those are dangerous sometimes. That, especially that four door white one. Oh yeah, I love that four door white crew cab truck. Like we're gonna get home with this thing, take a shower, clean up a little bit because we're trying to get these ticks off of us. And then once the kids get home from school, we're gonna show their reaction to see what they think about this old wagon we've got. We should have took the truck and trailer with the wagon on it to pick them they up. Been, they probably been embarrassed. Oh man, they, they would have acted like they didn't know us for sure. Oh, dad, 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 dad. So, I like your sunglasses. Thank you. Uh, you know, we had two marked to buy and the his 
workers or whatever ended up crushing the red two-door Fairmont. So, even though my name was on the windshield, we got the station wagon one. Let's see what you guys think about this beauty on the trailer up here. <laughs> is that not a beauty? Uh, yes, it is. On the trailer. She's a beaut. What is I love that? It. I love it's a, it. It's the car on our t-shirts. It's a Ford Fairmont station wagon. I love it. I don't know how this car could be more perfect. Wait, you know? No, none of these had the seat that goes backwards in these. We got to get uh, the doors unlocked. We got to get it cleaned up. You know, but it's been sitting in the woods for, I don't know, 30 years probably. What do you think, Rocky? Rocky usually likes to get on the trailer. He's usually a fan of the trailer. Well, I need to get the door open and find out exactly what year it is. Oh, there's Rocky. Little rust in the door here, kids. Little rusty, but, you know, I know a body man. We can get that sorted out. Got a little whiskey dent here. May have been why it got parked, I don't know. I wish it had all the hubcaps. What do you think, Ralphie? We need but, to put the five speed. I just like to say, epic yeah. sunglasses. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll frame. Yeah. Um, you think it needs to be a five speed station wagon? Oh, wait a minute. What about this? Six speed. You ain't got no six Mind blown. Too cheap for a six I don't have a six speed. What makes them little lines? Is that worms or ants. something or animals crawling around on them? No, what do you think about it, Squeezy? I think it's the worst car you ever got. Oh, God. man, that was so straight to the sad. heart. Sad. <laughs> What's on the windshield? What do you uh, think? Is that spray paint? We can get it clean. Yes, we'll clean what? it off. We'll clean, we'll clean no. it off. You can clean off the glass with a razor blade. You yeah? can make it your donut burn out and Pretty hard. How come every car we talk about you want to do donuts and burnouts in? You need to make fun. this your pretty car, okay? You ain't got no pretty well, car. How could it get prettier than what it is okay. right now? He had a whole bag of keys and I could not believe it. Usually I have really good luck with Ford keys working, but we couldn't get any key to work at all for it. Hey, what's, is this adjustable? Yeah, it's adjustable <laughs> tailpipe. Yeah. Everything we have around here is adjustable. Yeah. We had to cut a tree down yeah. and everything. We had to cut multiple trees down to get to it. Well, you know how we end them off around here? Got our... <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding? <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you shake it up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to go back and get the L that yellow LTD wagon and the uh, black Fairmont Futura that we found while what? we were there. Oh. Maybe even the black Fairmont wagon. I'm working on that one. And uh, probably gonna get to clean this thing up, get it opened up and really look at uh, what we got with this one. Pour one out for your homies, you know the deal. Eat your bourbon barbecue vainas. I know you guys are probably like, why did he just buy the Fairmont? But uh, a lot of that stuff had already been claimed. And I'm just a sucker for Fairmonts. What am I gonna say? You I, can't go away from Did you buy any trucks? But we're definitely gonna have to get the engine transmission for this thing. I just can't get enough station wagons. We got three of them now, right? We got a dart wagon, a galaxy wagon, and a Fairmont wagon. You know, if you don't know, these things are on a Fox body platform, just like a Mustang is. So any sort of Mustang suspension and stuff will work on these. You don't want to buy you? Oh, you just ate? Yeah. You can check out our second channel, Sleeper Dude 2. You can check out uh, us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok app. Sleeper Dude 88. We really appreciate you guys watching. We got the red Fairmont Futura big block twin turbo car we're building. We got the 89 Super Coupe Thunderbird. Uh, that's now gonna be a turbo coupe, basically, five speed. Uh, we got the Falcon. We're gonna get to working on it very soon. Here you go, Scooty. That's bigger than you, buddy. 63 and a half Falcon Future. We're gonna get back on it soon. Gotta get some more parts for the F100 so we can get it shifting in all the gears and everything. Uh, gotta get the brakes working on the Malibu and the, the Dark Coupe uh and the savoy so we got some brake work to do around here soon yeah we got a lot to do so just make sure you check out our future videos we'll keep making them you keep watching them that's the deal we made jesus saves and george nelson withdraws okay. facts no. here here squeeze no not that here here honey wawa come on Oh, are you excited about the old wagon though? Guys? Yeah, I really like it. We've already lost Squeezy. That's how much interest she has in this wagon. She's already gone. I she, love much interest. I love she it. just walked off the set over here. I just can't get enough of these cars, you know? This is the, the peak of styling in American cars. You know, they didn't get any better looking than this. It was a downward peak.
No, no. You know, Fox body platform. You can fit any engine in the world in them. Everything bolts onto them. Oh, Scooty, man, you're gonna fill up, bud. It'd be cool to put a big block Ford in it. You know, put a 460 down in it or the new Godzilla engine, that'd be awesome. 460 Ford you, or a Coyote. You could Ooh. put a diesel in it. Get, get out of this picture. What are you saying? No. We're not diesel swapping you know. it. You've Why never would you do that, that in a room? Room? I'm, I'm not putting a diesel in a Fairmont. Well, you can put on a spec. 